Hey guys, it's Chase and welcome back to Talk Wrestling. Uh, SummerSlam ended about an hour ago and it is time to discuss. I've been posting results, I've been discussing with people, I've been doing all my live crap with people about SummerSlam. Wearing my shirt, we were ready to roll. Um, basically, um, we will go from match to match real quick, discuss the winners and thoughts, kind of. Okay, so the first match was Randy Orton versus Sheamus. I thought it was a very good match, actually, for the two of them to have. Um, and I know people get a little bored of Randy Orton and Sheamus, but a very good match. Sheamus got the win. Um, it was pretty brutal, so enjoyed that one. Randy got busted open. Um, next was the Stephen Amell and um, Neville versus <laughs> Stardust and King Barrett. Uh, Stephen Amell did pretty good. He proved that he's not just an actor trying to get some some fame out of it. I don't, you know, because I know Air is a great show, but sometimes uh, actors who come into the wrestling business try to just get their word out. Um, and he actually went out there and, and did some good stuff. So pretty pretty entertaining match. I think we got what we could expect from that. Neville doing most of the actual wrestling stuff, and Stephen Amell doing the stuff that he learned, which was awesome. So pretty good match. Neville and Amell got the win. Uh, we also had the um, Fatal 4-Way for the Tag Team Titles, which was actually really good. I was This one was the one I was one of the most nervous about, because with tag team matches, especially when there's four teams, you get kind of cluster. Uh, but this one was pretty well. Everyone looked real good in this match. A New Day got the win. And uh, I used to not be a fan of them, and they were cracking me up, man. So pretty entertaining from, from them. So uh, new tag team champions. Uh, we had the triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Ryback versus Miz versus Big Show. Ryback gets the win. This one was kind of the sleeper match. I think this was probably one of the worst matches for me. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but it was just kind of there. Big Show, we were all talking about it. Big Show just didn't seem that into it. I don't know. He looked a little tired. Uh, plus, he's been doing it for so long, and he always hears, please retire. So that's probably that. So Ryback got the win. Uh, we have the 90 of a tag team match, which uh, we got to see PCB pull out the win. Um, this one was not as good as I expected it to be. I think it's because you have 9 Divas cluster helling it. It's a little tough to get everybody their spots, make, them, make sure everybody looks good and tough for this uh, event. So stick to triple threat matches or one-on-one -on -one matches for sure. But 9 Divas, they're trying to make all look good. It's going to be really hard. So PCB got the win for that. Uh, we had, uh, I'm kind of going out of order. We had Cesaro versus Kevin Owens. Um, pretty good match. Again, knowing that uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know if they felt like they're running out of time or something like that. Fixing something. I don't know if they ran. They ran out of time, so they kind of just did a lot of big spots. But it, uh, but it was pretty solid. It was entertaining. Cesaro looked really good. Kevin Owens needed a win. Uh, I kind of figured Owens would pull out the win on this one, but because he really needed a win. Um, but overall, pretty solid uh, match. So uh, Kevin Owens pulls out the win. Uh, and then we had. Uh, title for title, Seth Rollins versus John Cena for the WWE and United States Championship. And this match was pretty good. Rollins, I'm not a big fan of as a person or anything like that. He's a damn good wrestler. Uh, he looked really tough in this match. Um, and then it went down to John Stewart coming down and interfering and having his way with John Cena, which as soon as John Stewart went in there and kind of looked kind of, what do I do, what do I do? I looked at my sister and I looked at Caitlin and, and everybody and I was just like, dude, he's hitting John Cena with that with that chair because I was like, him and Rollins are buddies, they're besties. Um, so Rollins has both United States and WWE Championship. Who knows what they're gonna do? I don't know why. They, I still am not for them giving Rollins a U.S. title. They needed to give undercard people something to do. Like Kevin Owens versus uh, Cesaro could have been a great United States Championship match and we would all be happy with it. Uh, so who knows? Um, but. Good entertaining stuff for Raw tomorrow, so that's for sure. Um, and then we have The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar uh, going one-on-one -on -one with a little controversy mixed in this match. You know, it was much better than WrestleMania 30. It was not, it was not just Lesnar beating the shit out of The Undertaker the entire time. Uh, Undertaker got to get some good hits. Back and forth, you know, there's moments where you thought Undertaker was going to win, thoughts you thought, moments you thought Under, uh, Lesnar was going to win. Uh, and ultimately it came down to Lesnar hitting the Kimura lock, that arm lock. On the Undertaker, Undertaker, and the bell randomly rings, which is just awful. So the bell randomly rings, and then um, everyone's looking messed out of place. The fans didn't know what there was going on. I didn't know what was going on. It was pretty bad. So uh, Undertaker obviously tapped out because it showed a replay. He tapped out, but he's, the ref didn't see it, so he was able to make choke out Lesnar. Uh, Lesnar gave one of these before he passed out, so... Um, the match was pretty good. The match was a good match. Uh, I don't know how I feel because I don't know if they're going to be like, oh, somebody screwed Lesnar out of this, and then that'll start a feud with Lesnar and somebody else. Uh, I don't know if this means there'll be a third match between Undertaker and Lesnar from maybe WrestleMania 32. I don't know. But I think Undertaker, or I think uh, Lesnar uh, passing out is them kind of 
making Lesnar still look strong because he didn't tap, didn't get pinned. This is them still trying to make him look tough. The only person that looked... Oh, excuse me, hiccup. The only person that really looked bad after this was probably The Undertaker because he did tap out. He kicked Lesnar in the balls, and then he just choked the man out, which is obviously how to win, but that's two negatives against him. So, Undertaker, man, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're going with him. Maybe, I don't know what direction they're trying to do, but we'll see. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about SummerSlam down below. Uh, if you want to continue to talk wrestling with me, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you... Um, have anything about? If you have anything else to add, let me like. If you just, I don't know how you feel about SummerSlam. Let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.